So when we're thinking about good espresso, there are many factors that we need to keep in mind. And just like in any cooking that you do, first of all, uh, it's gonna take the right ingredients. And when you're thinking about espresso, there's two major ingredients that are gonna end up in your cup. It's water and it's coffee. So when you're choosing the things that you put into your machine, you need to make sure you have the right water and then you make sure that you need to have good, fresh coffee in your hopper. Otherwise, the espresso isn't gonna taste any good. If you use a great coffee, you have more margin for error. You can make small mistakes and it won't manifest itself in something that's undrinkable. If you're using a coffee that is sort of right on the edge, then there's probably only one or two very specific ways that you can make that coffee taste palatable. Then beyond that, uh, there's a lot of things that you need to think about as far as theory goes. And there's three legs of the stool to espresso theory. The first one that uh, we really need to think about is extremely important is brew ratio. So brew ratio is really uh, the amount of coffee that you're putting into the porta filter uh, compared to the amount of espresso, liquid espresso, that's coming out into the cup by weight. So when we're saying brew ratio, we're saying there's going to be 18 grams in the porta filter, and then we're looking for something like 36 grams in the cup and that's a brew ratio of one to two. So when people are saying that uh, they like certain espressos, it really helps to be able to define that, okay, what I'm doing when I'm making my coffee is I'm putting 18 grams in, and I like 18 grams out, which is a one to one ratio, which tastes very different than a one to two ratio or a one to three ratio. So understanding that concept is the first leg of the stool for espresso theory. After that, the second leg of the stool we'll talk about uh, really depends a lot on the grinder, and that is brew time, how long it takes to achieve the ratio you're looking to achieve. So if we were gonna do 18 grams in the porta filter, 36 grams of coffee in the cup, uh, it's gonna say, take a certain amount of time to get there, and that depends on the grind size that you're choosing with your grinder. So obviously if you're thinking about two uh, jars, one has sand in it and one has marbles in it and you pour water on top, the water will sit on top of the sand where the water will go through the marbles really fast. So if you have a coarse grind, it's like marbles and the water will run through very fast. Uh, if you have fine grind, then it's more like sand and the water will run through very, very slowly creating a stronger shot. So, Really when we're looking at achieving a time, the main kind of the area that where we're saying that most espresso tastes good is anywhere from 25 to 35 seconds. So the third leg of the stool is brew temperature. And brew temperature, really for most people, you won't have to worry about it. Your machine will be set to a certain temperature. Roughly you should be aiming for 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, as a general rule, if you have a darker roasted coffee, you should be brewing at a lower brew temperature and a little bit of a lower brew ratio. If you have a lighter roasted coffee, as a general rule, you will be uh, brewing at a higher temperature and at uh, a larger brew ratio. So that gives you a little bit of an understanding of the three legs of the espresso stool uh, and the espresso theory.